A little while ago, I tried to read what I thought was the longest book I could find in Barnes & Noble, which was War and Peace. But now I realize that's not actually true. There's a book you can find that doesn't necessarily look a lot thicker, but it's a lot longer. War and Peace is just under 600,000 words long, and this book is just under 800,000. The version I have of this book is over 1,800 pages long, which means I'm going to have to read over 60 pages a day, which might not sound like that much until you realize that this book has two columns of writing per page which means you're reading pretty much double the amount of writing per page. Not to mention the font is tiny and the pages are super ultra thin. So as you can tell, this is probably going to be one of the hardest reading challenges I've ever made myself do before, but I'm so excited to try it. Today is January 6th, and in 31 days from now, I will be able to say that I have read the entire Bible in one month. This is day one. I don't know how long it takes me to read 60 pages of the Bible. So I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes and see how much I can do in that amount of time. Hopefully it's a decent amount. I don't know. In 30 minutes, I got to 10 pages, which is not that much. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be more because I need to do 60 a day. But I don't want to get rid of underlining things and really trying to understand things for speed. Um, that means I'm going to have to spend a lot of time <laughs> reading this book every day. I'm probably going to be bringing this on my lunch break, staying up pretty late at night this month to read, but I think it's going to be worth it. It's day two. I was able to read a decent amount on my lunch break and now I'm going to start reading again. But I wanted to say that last night I was clearly very worried about not being able to hit my 60 pages. I really did not think I was going to be able to do it. So it's getting close to the end of the first day and I'm feeling very um, dejected to say the least. I am only 30 pages in. I feel like I should be done by now and I'm only halfway through. But right before I went to bed I decided to read a little bit more, but I'm going to keep reading more tonight and I'll just see how much I end up doing. And I ended up reading a lot more than I expected and I actually hit my 60 pages. That gave me a lot more hope that I might be able to actually continue to do this and do this every day for 31 days. I have been reading for so long tonight, more than I have I think any other night thus far. But that is because I just got to the end of Genesis. And I'm so happy that I finally have one book of the Bible down. As I hold that up, it really doesn't look like that much, but it felt like a lot. I love reading the stories that are actual like stories and they have a plot with a beginning and an end. There was a few sections where they just read off names, but it wasn't too long, so it wasn't that bad. I am actually pretty behind where I should be. But the good thing is, is that tomorrow's Friday and the weekend's coming up and I'm planning on literally just reading the Bible all day on Saturday and Sunday and hopefully I will get caught up because of that. For now, I'm moving into Exodus, which I'm really, really excited about. So then I started reading through Exodus. I don't know why I didn't really film that much of Exodus and I didn't talk much about it, but I did want to say that Exodus was a really good book of the Bible. And then the next thing I knew, I was already in Leviticus. This is also part of my reading journey where things started to go really downhill as far as keeping up with the amount that I needed to read each day. It was really stressing me out being so early on in the challenge and already being pretty far behind. So just prepare yourself for the stress that is to come. I kind of had a little panic moment. I am so far behind. I have been supposed to be reading 60 pages a day. So I was like, oh no, I'm so far behind. I keep having to remind myself that these pages have much more words because I can only really find time to read that much on nights after I get back from there work. So many more words on each page. The pages are super thin. So that's just what I have to keep reminding myself before I get too discouraged. Great. So I read a bunch last night and then a lot this morning and I am already 184 pages in. I'm on chapter 20 of Leviticus. I think Leviticus ends on page like 200. So I only have 15 pages left of Leviticus to get through. Right now it's 1130. By 1230, I'm going to be done with Leviticus. I'm going to read for this next hour as much as I can and in one hour, I'll be done with it. And then I can finally start numbers. So 
so I did it. It's only 12.10. Leviticus is officially done and I'm very happy that it is. Um, I did actually get a decent amount out of it. It helped me to learn a little bit more of the context of who the people were, how they needed to live with so many rules and regulations. Some of the rules seem really crazy. Things that are like obviously very bad things to do and yet God has to list them out specifically because they don't know any better. That being said, I'm this far in now. I love looking at the amount. That makes me feel a lot better than looking at the page number. I'm finally catching up on how far behind I got throughout this week and I'm very relieved about that. I'm honestly... Because I have so much time to read today, I'm going to try to get through all of Numbers by the end of today. So then I just read through all of Numbers. I didn't end up finishing it that day, but I finished it early the next morning, so I was happy with that. Then I entered into one of the hardest books of the Bible that I read, at least thus far at the time. I know there's probably a lot of like great things in Deuteronomy, and there's probably a lot I can get out of it, but I'm just being honest. I'm getting really, really tired of this story. I just read four books of the Bible from Exodus all the way through Deuteronomy. It's kind of like all the same story, all of just these Israelites constantly just doing bad things. It's just like they keep messing up over and over and over again. And I'm getting a little bit tired of this story. If I'm just being honest, I'm gonna keep going through it. I know if there is a book of the Bible in the Bible, it's there for a reason and there's probably something I can get out of it. So then I read for a while longer, but I was looking for any excuse to take a break. So this is me looking for new pens for underlining and note taking. Also during this time, I accidentally filmed a bunch of clips in slow motion, which is really annoying because I have no idea what I was saying here. It didn't even pick up audio. But I think I said something like, I love Deuteronomy. It's the best book ever. And I wish I could read it over and over again. <laughs> okay, but all jokes aside, it really wasn't that bad. And before I knew it, I had finished. Okay, so I have read a decent amount since about this time yesterday. I finished Deuteronomy and then late last night I stayed up and read through about half of Joshua and then woke up this morning and read the rest. So I'm doing pretty well on time for my goal I wanted to reach by the end of the day today which is to get through Judges which I started just like 30 minutes ago. For the rest of today I'm going to read 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 as much as Judges as possible. I would love to get done with Judges by tonight. That being said this was a ton of reading I had to do over these past couple of days and I was really lucky this weekend to number one have a three-day weekend where I could just dedicate to reading and also I just had a lot of spare time this weekend to dedicate to reading I've been spending every single second of my spare time reading this book I've gotten so like in this routine like when I'm at work I sit there and I go can't wait to just get home and read my Bible and then eat dinner and just read more of my Bible and that's literally all I do all night. I started to get like excited for it. Look at this. This is a solid chunk of the Bible that I have read. Anyway, um, I am still trudging through Judges. It's starting to get a little bit more complicated than it was before because before there was a lot of different people but at least they were all from like the same family now that i'm getting into judges there's a lot of new names there's a lot of new people and it's kind of difficult to keep track of who is who i just read over the story of gideon which i really like i'm also starting to get really 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 excited to get into the New Testament. Part of it is a little bit exhausting to read the Old Testament because again, it's this repetition of all these different people are just stumbling over and over and over again and messing up over and over and over again. And then they'll do something right for a little bit and then they mess up again. I am for the first time really, really, really seeing how desperately we need all that happens in the new testament so i'm excited to get there but before that we have a lot to get through and by a lot i mean a lot to get through and trust me it gets even crazier as time goes on and i filmed it all so part two is coming very soon good morning i'm actually filming when it's light outside so you're welcome i have a huge day ahead of me of binge reading the Bible. By the end of this weekend, I'm supposed to be halfway through the book. So that means I will be two weeks into this whole challenge. However, there's no way I'm getting to halfway by the end of this weekend. So I feel like it makes more sense to set realistic goals that I can actually 
hopefully achieve. And so I just wanna get as caught up as I can without like rushing myself too much. So I think my goal I'm making for myself is to finish both first and second Samuel and first and second kings this day was one of the most productive days i've had throughout this entire thing and i got so much done but before we get into that last time i was still slowly trudging through judges so here's how i finished that i was actually not able to finish judges last night so i'm about to go read a ton for the next few minutes and finish that out i'm so close to being done With judges it's really fun to read about the different people that are chosen to be judges and why and they all kind of are given this really cool story of how they're like saving israel for a few years and they like bring them back up and then the judge dies or stops being a judge and then they go right back down there's one girl De deborah it's deborah i don't know why i didn't just say deborah she was a judge and she was so cool and she like helped them defeat like all of their enemies and that was pretty cool so yeah i'm gonna go read a bunch real quick i finished judges it's an intense book or at least the ending of it is very intense and i was like kind of shocked throughout a lot of it but I finished it. Then it was time for me to start Ruth on this sunny day at work. I finished it in one sitting and that was great. And then I immediately dove straight into 1 Samuel. I have some good news. I finally got highlighters. So yeah, now my annotating has gone to the next level. It's colorful now. I'm realizing that I think every single thing that I film, I'm in basically the same place in the same sweatshirt saying basically the same thing which is i've read another book of the bible today i read through all of ruth pretty quickly now i am well into first samuel i'm at page 420 which is where i should have been on monday it's wednesday now um so that's how far behind i am um this book is really good i'm actually really liking this one so far i show you this every single night but look how thick it's getting it's like a decent chunk of the book has been read and it feels so accomplishing that beautiful weekend is coming up where i read non-stop and enjoyed every minute of it but the friday night before that i was struggling so here's that tomorrow i am probably going to kind of challenge myself to read for basically the entire day. I was hoping that I could finish for Samuel yesterday, but then I ended up having a lot that I needed to do last night. And I read like only two or three pages yesterday, which I think is the least I've read this whole time. I think once I start really getting into reading tonight and I hopefully finish for Samuel, which is has been my goal for the past two days now, um, then I'll start feeling a little bit better about all of this. I did hit David's story and then the whole David and Goliath story. So that was really fun, but that also meant I was moving pretty slowly because I really wanted to read all of that well and I was lining up a lot and highlighting a lot so that took a little bit of time to get through doesn't look like much but this was a week and a half of work actually almost two weeks at this point so I think this might be it for today and I think tomorrow I'm just gonna really 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 have to read 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 non-stop as quickly as I can tomorrow's gonna be a very interesting day Have some good news i just finished first samuel finally and now i'm moving into second samuel i don't know why this is called second samuel because samuel has already died and i think now this is all just going to be about david so i don't know why this isn't called david i didn't realize how much there was to david's story like i had obviously read david and goliath before and like the earlier like beginnings of his story but i didn't know all of this with like jonathan i didn't know him and saul had so much going on i'm really happy that i'm finished now and it's still decently early so i still have a lot of time 
to read just throughout the rest of today. Yeah, today is just like a speed read all day long, nonstop. Don't do anything. Don't think about anything. Just read the Bible constantly. It's funny because right after I said that, I decided that I needed a break. You know how when you read too much and it feels like your brain is turning to jello? That's what was happening to me. So I decided to go outside and take a walk slash run. And it was a really, really good decision because I felt so much better by the time I got back. I'm back from my run. It was very nice, very freezing. I feel like whenever I take a nice long break from doing something all day, it helps me to like read a lot faster when I come back to read more. So now I'm ready to get back into it. I'm back into 2 Samuel and I'm just trucking through. The reason why I said earlier that this was one of the most productive days I've had is because I finished 1 Samuel, then I started 2 Samuel, and then by the end of the day, I was able to even crack into 1 Kings. This is probably the most I had read in one day up until this point. Then the next day, I basically woke up and did the same thing with one purpose, which was to finally catch up. Today, I haven't done too much so far. I literally read the first page of 1 Kings. This book is about 50 pages long, which... Doesn't sound like much, but that's pretty long. It's a lot I need to do in a little bit of time, but I believe I can do it. I have been reading for the past few hours and now I only have 20 pages left in First Kings. So it's looking pretty good that I'll be able to finish this pretty soon. I keep thinking to myself like I probably could very easily sit down and read 20 pages in like a very short period of time if I just quickly skimmed and just flipped pages really quickly. But I don't wanna do that. I have to constantly tell myself that I'm reading this because I want to read it. I want to have read everything and like know the entire story and not miss anything but i can't realistically keep doing this for too much longer than a month like literally all of my free time is spent reading the bible and i'm not even where i should be yet there's no way i'm just gonna stop like i'm going to go until i finish this no matter what but the scary thing is, is that it might take a lot longer than a month. It might take two months and that would be just really difficult. Obviously, if I had to do it, I could, but like, my life right now is all reading the Bible. Like every spare second of my free time, I'm reading the Bible, which is great. And I am really, really loving that. But at the same time, there's like other things that I need to do with my life. I have finally finished 1 Kings. It literally took me all day to do. 1 Kings was a really good book of the Bible. It reminded me a lot of Judges. It was very um, like historical. It took place over a long, long period of time, over several generations of kings. And I am excited to move into 2 Kings now. At this point, I'm just going with the flow. I'm doing whatever I can do when I can do it. I'm just trusting the process and Keep reading this Bible until I'm finished reading it and not stop. A while ago, I made a video kind of similar to this where I was reading War and Peace. And even though it looks a lot thicker than this one, it's actually way less words. I just love the idea of really challenging myself to get through a ginormous book in a short period of time. And if you watched the video, you would know that I didn't end up finishing it. I actually didn't even get that far into it i don't even think i made it halfway this one i'm going to finish even though it's a lot more work even though it's more words and more pages i'm going to do it no matter what and i don't know why it's different this time i just actually have the motivation to do it i want to know everything that's in here every story every person even if it takes longer than i thought it was going to take i'm not going to give up I'm currently almost halfway done with reading the entire Bible in one month. But something I haven't included in these videos yet is the one thing I'm really not looking forward to before I get to halfway. And in this video, I finally get to that thing that I've been avoiding. avoiding. Same sweatshirt, same floor, new book of the Bible. So last night, I was talking about how I wanted to finish 2 Kings, and I did before I went to bed. And then this morning, I got up and started reading 1 Chronicles. I'm now done with 1 Chronicles. Now... 
I'm going into Second Chronicles. Chronicles is, it's a little summary, it's a little recap of everything you've read thus far from Genesis to the end of Second Kings. When I started reading it, I was like not really happy about it because I was like, I just read like all of this basically yesterday, but I realized it is a really nice, fun little recap. It gives you some like exclusive scenes that you didn't see earlier on. I'm like, my hopes are lifting. I know I'm still so far behind, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling pretty good. It's getting thicker and thicker every day. I can't wait till I'm halfway through and I hold up half the whole Bible. But before we get to halfway, I still have to read that one book that I was dreading. Honestly, I thought this was gonna make me fail the entire challenge, but we have a little bit more to read before I get there. finished Ezra and I'm well into Nehemiah now. Ezra was a really good book. It was very short and there wasn't like a whole lot to it. It just feels a lot more like in reality if that makes sense. Like obviously things were different back in like Moses times. God was very present in those first few books and like you could almost hear his thoughts. And in these books it's very much like it's not like there's angels showing up everywhere talking to people. That's just a lot more relatable, I feel like. I'm like a little less than 20 pages from finishing Nehemiah. I mean, I'm definitely not halfway yet, but I can see it in the distance. Like I'm getting there and that's so exciting. Next, I read Esther. Esther was really good. And then I started Job. I read Job outside. It's so funny looking back on this time because I was just minding my own business, reading in the grass, watching the birds, enjoying this book that I was really starting to love. It was so nice, but I did didn't know what was about to happen right as soon as I finished. So over this weekend on Saturday, I was booking it through Job and it was so unique. So unlike any other book of the Bible I had read thus far, it's almost like just written in full, like, like poetry almost. Job, very cool book of the Bible. Then the thing that I had been really not looking forward to, it has come and it came yesterday and I was kind of caught off guard. I didn't realize it was coming right after Job. For some reason, I thought there was something else in between, but there wasn't. And the book of the Bible presented itself. That is the book of Psalms. I know what you're probably thinking. Everyone loves the book of Psalms. And I know that they're great, right? Like I get that, but I don't think Psalms is meant to be read fully through in like order, all in like the span of a day or two days. Thus far up until this point has all been like a story and there's characters and there's things happening and it's just a lot easier to read in order like that when you're following an actual story. But the Psalms, as far as I know, are not like that. Essentially, it's just like a bunch of songs. So the other books in the Bible I have been reading up until this point have only been around like 50 pages long. The Psalms are 150 pages long. But the good thing about this book of the Bible is that I can have all of my highlighters ready because I know that there are many verses in here that are highlightable. So then I began my journey through reading Psalms. I set a goal to try and finish the book in only two days, which meant I was gonna have to read like I never have before. The thing that I'm focusing on right now is trying to finish the book of Psalms by the end of the day tomorrow. I was just a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. I was reading early in the morning and late at night just to get this done. But the best thing about this is that in the middle of the stress, I found out something I really didn't expect. I am in like the middle of reading Psalms and I just wanted to say that this book is really surprising me. Because it's not like a story with a plot that I can follow along with, I'm able to just like sit back and read it without having to like work too much to pay attention to what's going on. I'm able to just like, I don't know, kind of read it mindlessly. It's just like such a feel good book. Like there's never a time that I finish reading Psalms and I don't feel better than I did when I started. As I read throughout the next week, I had so much motivation because hitting the halfway point was right around the corner. I am officially halfway through the Bible. And it feels so good to finally be here. It's a little later than I thought it was gonna be, but at least I'm here and at least I've done it. And at least I know now that I am capable of reading that much and I just have to do that 
all over again. I just finished all of the Psalms. There's something about repeatedly reading Psalms, like back to back to back to back that like, I don't know, it like does something to your brain. <laughs> I would probably say that that book is the one that like lifted my mood the most. I am headed into Proverbs. Towards the end of this, I sat down and really started to calculate how much more I needed to read and how long it would take me. Obviously, if it took me over three weeks to read half, it would take me the same amount of time to read the second half, which would be more than a month. But there was one reason why I still had hope I could finish this on time. I'll explain it in a minute, but first let's finish Proverbs. It's the next night and I've officially finished Proverbs. Proverbs was really, really good. It was a little bit re repetitive, but I think there's a reason why it's repetitive because there are things you need to like hear over and over and over again and like get ingrained in your mind, I think. I really did like it. I love how Solomon is the one who wrote it and he's the one who happened to get this like very special gift of wisdom earlier on. I feel nice and like wise now. I feel like I got all the wisdom in the world. Okay, so I've done some planning. I've done some calculating. You'd think it would take me the same three weeks to finish the second half, just like it did the first half. However, I feel like the second half is gonna go by way quicker than the first because the New Testament, I know I am just gonna fly through because number one, it's just a lot easier to read, but number two, I think I'm just gonna enjoy it a little bit more, which is why I still think that it's at least possible for me to still do this in a month. I think. The one thing I've been looking forward to more than anything while reading the Bible is breaking into the New Testament. And in this video, I finally get there. But before that, things weren't looking too good. I just realized I have only read two pages of the Bible today. Well, maybe three. It was like the first three pages of Ecclesiastes. I just had this realization that it's the end of the day and it's late and I wanna go to bed and I've only read three pages and I was like really feeling bad about myself. Then I was like, wait, like, I read three whole pages of the Bible today. Before I started this challenge, I probably read like one page of the Bible a month. Like, if that. Can I really be that upset? That, that. It's morning now. I did read a little bit more of Ecclesiastes last night, but I didn't finish it, but I'm so close to being done. I'm going to be dedicating today to reading. I'm hoping to get really, really far in. Like, I want to just binge read all day, like nonstop. So I'm about to finish Ecclesiastes and then I'll start Song of Songs. And then I'm going to start the monster that is Isaiah. I'm actually really, really, really excited to read Isaiah. Isaiah is one of those books that like everyone brings up, everyone quotes it. There's so many good verses, but just like so many of the other books in the Bible, I don't think I would be able to sit down and tell you what the story of Isaiah is about. And that was a really big mystery for me. I really just wanted to know what this book was about. And let me tell you, when I figured it out, it was shocking. Now, Ecclesiastes is officially done. Um, it's such an interesting um, like difference from Proverbs to Ecclesiastes. It's like it's all kind of the same stuff, but like they're both also very different and it's kind of confusing, a little bit hard to follow. Like Proverbs is all about like, if you do good things, you'll get good things. It seems like the same person who wrote Proverbs is now like, oh wait, like, actually sometimes you're a really good person and you're wise and you do good things and you still get bad in life. Now I'm moving into Song of Songs. So I'm gonna knock that out right now and then we start Isaiah. Yeah. Song of Songs is now finished. I think that's the first book that I have just read all in one sitting. We're getting so close. I am over halfway through now. Oh, it's so much done and it's like so satisfying to even look at. I'm over halfway through reading the entire Bible. And then pretty soon, 
I'm gonna get into the New Testament, which is what I've been looking forward to this entire time. Now it's time to start Isaiah. It's a hundred pages long, which is a lot of reading, but I'm gonna try my hardest to read a majority of Isaiah today and finish it by tomorrow. So as I said, Isaiah is a really long book of the Bible and it's kind of hilarious that I said I was gonna try and be done with it by the next day because it took me way longer than that. But when I finally discovered what the book was about, it was so worth it. I was honestly shocked. I have been reading Isaiah pretty much all day today. I realize now that Isaiah is just a prophet who is pretty much predicting a lot of what's going to happen in the future, which I kind of knew before, but I didn't really know to what extent. He is essentially saying like word for word what's going to happen when Jesus comes. And I read that and I was like, that's kind of crazy. So I looked it up. How far in advance was Isaiah written before Jesus before the gospels and it said 700 years 700 I think that's like the craziest thing I've read thus far um this book has not been exactly what I thought it was gonna be I mean it kind of is I just didn't think it was gonna be so confusing I guess I feel like a lot of it is talking in metaphor which is just kind of harder to pick up on and it's especially hard when you're trying to read as quickly as possible and as much as possible every day. Because of that and because I'm moving a little bit more slowly, my motivation is going down a little bit as well, especially because February 6th is in two days. And although I know I'm not gonna finish the Bible by then, I still wanna be pretty well into it and I wanna be able to see an ending in sight, if that makes sense. And this is me pushing through the rest of Isaiah while trying to balance my demotivation and also my desire to go slow and understand everything. And this is me having to look stuff up constantly, but it was worth it because I did learn a lot. I just read a lot, so I think I will be able to finish this before the end of today. At least that's what I'm really, really hoping. I feel like the first part or the first half of Isaiah was almost all about the destruction that he was predicting. And now it's more of like all the good stuff. And that's obviously a lot nicer to read about. So I am enjoying it a little bit more uh, just anyway in general. I have finished Isaiah. I'm so happy I was able to finish it today. It was a lot to have to comprehend and try to understand. And something I've been trying to make myself do since the beginning is not just skim over things, not just fly through things without actually understanding them. Throughout a lot of reading this book, I had to like look so many things up and I had to like sit there and sift through so many articles just to find the answer that I was looking for. So that made it take a lot longer than it normally would have. So now I'm going into Jeremiah. So I had an idea while reading through Jeremiah of something that could really help me feel better about reading fast through books that need a lot of attention. I have about seven pages left until I'm halfway through Jeremiah. Earlier today, I stole some sticky notes from my work. Okay, you don't tell anyone. I really wanted to put little like tabs in the side of different places that I know I want to go back to after I'm finished reading this in order to like really study. I just want those bookmarks to be a reminder that like when I finish the book, that's not really the end and there's more to go back and to read all the time. I am very close to finishing Jeremiah. Today is February 6th, which is the day that I was supposed to be done. Today is one month after I started. I've officially been doing this for 31 days straight, reading the Bible with pretty much all of my free time nonstop for 31 days. Part of me wants to feel disappointed that I'm not done yet and I haven't completed the goal that I originally set. I'm still almost a little bit happy that it's gonna keep going and I still have another week and a half before it ends. And right here is where I had a realization that blew me away. So I just got home and I'm sitting here about to work my way through Micah. I'm realizing that I only have about 40, 45 more pages 
until the New Testament. And then I had to get through all of these prophet books. They were really short and I blew through them in about two days. All of Ezekiel, all of Daniel, Jose, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, and Jonah. <laughs> Look at that big old chunk. And then came the time that I have been waiting for for so long, the most exciting part of this video. video. The day has finally come. I have officially entered into the New Testament. I wasn't really expecting me to hit it today. I really did not think I would be able to read that much tonight, but I did. I honestly didn't even think that this day would ever come. And now it's finally here. And I'm so excited to start reading these stories. I'm just so excited to start reading it. I can't wait to start tomorrow. And I do really think that this uh, next part is going to fly by. So I'm really hoping that in a week from now, I will have finished the entire Bible, but we'll see. see? About a month ago, I started reading the Bible with the goal to read through the entire thing in just a month. And in this video, I finally reached the end. But first, I need to get through the New Testament. I am probably halfway through Matthew right now. I have about 30, 35-ish more pages until I'm done. So obviously I've started in a whole new section, a whole new like era of time in the Bible. And wow, is it so much better than the other books I've been reading. Obviously I love all the other books and there are some really, really good ones, but this one is just, I, I'm literally only halfway through Matthew and it's just so good. Like there's just so much positiveness, so much hope in it. I don't know, you just feel so much more relieved after reading this rather than reading like the destruction of Israel that fills like Isaiah and stuff. I just finished Matthew and it was so good. At the very beginning of Matthew, it shows like the whole lineage of Jesus and that uh, part this like whole section in the beginning is something people might not enjoy that much or might would skip over it but I loved that part so much because I just read like all of these people this whole lineage every single person here I just read about in this whole old testament I don't know why I just thought that was really cool knowing these names because they're so fresh on my mind from reading all of this just in a month I have been booking it through reading lately. I have been reading like nonstop. I think the last time I said anything, I had just finished Matthew and I was about to start Mark. Well, now I have finished all of Mark and all of Luke too. And Luke is the longest gospel and I'm already done with it. So tonight is Friday and tomorrow is the weekend. My goal for all of this that I made like a week or so ago, was that by the end of Sunday night, this coming Sunday, by the end of this weekend, I wanted to be finished reading the Bible. Only two to three more days until I'm finished reading the Bible. That is insane. But what's even more insane is my constant need to set goals that are way higher than I can ever achieve. And this is one of those goals that I just failed miserably to hit. I have officially started my two to three day sprint into finishing the Bible. About 250 pages left in the Bible for me to read. Get into the rest of the New Testament. But still, it's a lot for me to do in three two days. Two to three days. Two days or three days. I'm hoping in the next three minutes or so. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try my hardest. As you can tell, this day was chaos. I had so many plans on how exactly I wanted to finish as soon as I could, but that just made things so much harder. And this is me finally having that realization. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like throughout this entire time from the very beginning on January 6th until now, I have constantly been setting such unrealistic expectations for goals that I want to hit. I read for about the same time every day and a little bit longer on weekends and the book is going to finish when the book is going to finish. Today I was like, I'm going to finish this in three days by Monday night. I'm going to be done with the Bible. That's my goal. That's what I'm setting. That's what I'm going to do. And now I'm realizing that 
it was such an unrealistic expectation. I'm realizing that I need to uh, relax and I need to read the Bible and I don't have to do it in such a short period of time and that's okay and I know that's okay because thus far this entire time it's gone so well and I'm actually really glad it lasted a lot longer than a month and eventually I'm going to finish this at some point I will finish. finish. There are a lot of New Testament books that are really short. A lot of them are even just like a page or two long. I was so excited reading these because the ending was coming so soon, so I read them really fast. I loved Acts a lot. I loved Paul's whole story. I loved how just unafraid and brave and like how little he cared about his life and his personal comfort. Because I'm reading this in order from beginning to end, I can't feel like I'm able to appreciate so much more all that is in the New Testament when everything from the Old Testament is so fresh on my mind. Like I don't forget about all of those chapters on chapters on chapters of several books of the Bible that were just all about the wrath that was going to be put on them and the constant rules and the constant regulations. And then suddenly, the New Testament comes. It's not like that anymore at all. And this whole story takes place. And then suddenly all of it is just good again, which is such a cool story. Like if I was reading this and it was just a normal book, I'd be like, that's the coolest plot. I read a lot today. It kind of feels like I'm stepping into like the epilogue books of the Bible, if you could even say that. Like it's more of explaining all that happened throughout this entire book, like explaining this whole story in a way that's like understandable. Um, I did finish first and second Corinthians and I enjoy those as well. I have about like a hundred or so pages Left. Left. left and so i just kept working on reading through all of these new testament books that were so short and just easy to fly through i knew that finishing was coming so soon so that's like all i could really think about i had just finished reading titus and then i also read phil limon honestly and i'm not trying to put a time limit on anything but i do think that it's going to be possible for me to finish this tomorrow night. Okay, second Peter is done. It was only like four pages, so I got it done pretty quickly. Now it's time to move into first and second, and I think there's also a third John. I have finished first, second, and third John. So now I'm going into Jude, which is a book that I did not know existed until this very moment. So now it's time to start Revelation. I'm really excited to start this. This is a book that I've been thinking about since the very beginning. I was so excited to start it. And even though it was really late, I was determined to finish it that night. I have about 10 pages left of Revelation and then I'm done with the Bible. That is crazy. Revelation is such a complicated book, but I love it. I've loved all of the books where people have very vivid visions or dreams. It's so cool to like imagine these things. This book is making me have to think like really deeply and I'm so tired and I'm trying to move quickly and so it's like the hardest thing for me to do right now and i'm kind of grasping what it all means but it's hard but i'm trying my best and i'm hoping it's going to make a little more sense the more that i read and then the time finally came after reading for so much for so long i finally got to the last page of revelation and the last line of the bible is i look really tired but the last line I just read it is may the grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's holy people which is kind of uh, like an obvious or an expected last line for the Bible but it also like means so much more when you have it in the context of the entire uh, book of Revelation or the entire book of the Bible which I just finished I just finished reading the entire Bible the Bible is done 
It's been red. It has been exactly a month and a month and 17 days. It was a hard challenge, but that's what I really liked about it. It was long and it was uh, tiring and it was hard, but in like the best way possible. Yeah, like I said before, I'm definitely going to do this again sometime. Probably not anytime super soon, but I will do it again at some point. But for now, I'm done. And that's crazy to say. And it's kind of sad, but it's really, really, really exciting too. So yeah. It's the next day. I finished the Bible last night and I'm officially done with this. I can officially say that I've read the entire Bible. It took a little over a month, about a month and a half, but I'm so happy with that. It's a lot better than what I would have ever done if I didn't do uh, this challenge. This morning I woke up and I really wanted to read more, so I reread all of James. I'm glad that I'm still eager to read this more. I'm excited to go back over different books and read them much more slowly and actually study them, actually understand all that's in them and I'm done. Yay!